I know the countdown wasn't done, but I figured, what if I don't wait for that to finish? What if I just go live now? Hey, everybody, welcome to LRR MTG. I'm Graham, and this is part two of our day today on the Ikoria Early Access Streamer event. Uh, hey, there. Good. It is working. Excellent. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm now broadcasting from Studio G. Thanks, James, for carrying us through the morning and uh, f through four wins into this deck that I'm looking at here that I barely got to watch. I was helping record uh, North 100 this morning, so I've barely watched anything. So everyone, all of you who've been watching James this morning already have a leg up on me because I have not, I haven't even seen all the cards in this set. I, uh, I, uh, I'm going to be learning a lot about Ikoria as we go, so... To be fair, we barely watched it. Wow. 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 Um, oh, right. I need to pull up Lurbot. Hello, Lurbot. Uh, because all good dogs just gifted five subs to Night Destroyer, the Magic Walrus, Immortal Len, Hasio Sora, and my buddy Superfly. So thank you for that. Jaycoon78076 is back for two months. And Niels is back for three months so thank you james says don't listen to jordan he's lying what did jordan say james the <laughs> jordan b james gotcha <laughs> at least you know the best cards for canadian highlander yeah for white blue and black at least so um oh cards have reach some cards do have reach i know that all too well all right let's just do this let's Bip. Why can't I hear? Oh, because I'm not in the app? Okay, there we go. It's making noise. Are you hearing that noise? I'm not seeing... Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. I'm seeing tiny waveforms. Good, good. Just double checking. Got to get all those cool sound effects. No, yes, super low, quietly. Oh, I know why. Because it's turned way low. Because it gets way loud. There we are. There we go. All right, so here's this deck that James drafted. So Premier Draft, which is... Oh, okay, so this is the best of one with humans. Cool. Do a sealed? Oh, I'm going to do a sealed. I just have to, you know, lose three times with this deck that James drafted to prove that I'm terrible at Magic the Gathering. So what do you got going on in here? Is this called a Pataiga Tiger? Patagia? Or three wins? No, no, I'm not I'm not assuming that. Alright, Serrated Scorpion, cool. Oh, Deadweight's back. Nice. Two of those. Okay. Mutual destruction. This spell has flash as long as you control a permanent with flash. Oh, and it's then it's bone splinters. Cool. Okay. Dire tactics. Exile target creature. Okay. That seems very strong. Divine Arrow, very nice. Cunning Night Bonder, 2-2 two, two Flash. Spells with Flash you cast cost one less and can't be countered. Okay. Durable Coil Bug. There's a lot of cards I have not seen. Sure. I know that you all have literally just been watching James play this deck, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, so it's a horrible-looking Windrake. Great, okay. Perimeter Sergeant. Sure. Night Squad Commando. Oh, it's got Raid. <laughs> sure. Oh, I did I did learn about Grim Dancer. All right. It's White Black Menace Matters and a lot of good removal. Okay, oh, it's got the Hunted Nightmare. Awful. General Kudro of Dranith. Other humans get plus one, plus one. Whenever a General Kudro or another human enters the battlefield, exile target creature from an opponent's graveyard. Sacrifice two humans. Just okay, yeah. Oh, he just throws humans at the problem. Big Howly Boy. Each creature you control with menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures? Whoa. Okay. Ooh, double call the Death Dweller. Dark Bargle. And two creatures with flash. Okay. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. 
Cool deck, James. Good draft. Uh, Gleam Demon for three months. Such a good day. BTW, thank you for inspiring me to play FF7 for the first time live on stream. Hey, awesome. That's that's really great to hear. Uh, Shadow Zero for seven months says, keep up the great work. And Soul Eater 50210 with 16 month resub. Welcome back. Thank you. Be sure to read Call of Death Dweller. Yes, I will do that. Nature Boy 1, I did, and that, I'm not happy about it. Uh, sure. If you don't control a human. Oh, controlling no creatures is not con is con not controlling a human, so that works. Cool background. Guess we're gonna lead with perimeter sergeant. No, no, I said sorry. I said I understand the confusion. I said we are going to lead with perimeter sergeant. Uh, all right. Oh, if you don't control a human. Okay, well, luckily we have several humans, so. Okay. We at LRR are several humans. I think my plan for next turn, yeah, I think my plan here is that I'm just going to deadweight their perimeter sergeant and attack and then follow up with this thing. And if they trade for our perimeter sergeant, that's probably fine. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, even better. Cool. That worked out well. Because this is a human and another human. And this cares about humans. Okay, alright. Now, look. You need to settle down. <laughs> they also have a similar plan with a lot of humans. Um... Okay, Tapper's annoying. It's just a 3-3 now. I wonder if I just... I wonder if I just slam. I got Dire Tactics and Divine Arrow. Yeah. I was considering doing Dire Tactics before combat, just to make their blocks a little worse, but... Oh, I like this block a lot, actually. Oh, 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 I like this. So uh, what I'm going to do is do the blockers like this, so I deal two damage to their perimeter sergeant and one to day squad marshal, and then use lurking deadeye. Let me make sure I've read this card I'm seeing for the first time. Enters the battlefield, destroy a target creature that was dealt damage this turn. Yes. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. I know I can arrow, but I if I arrow, I still lose my perimeter... If I, I could, if I use both of these just to save my perimeter sergeant, eh. Like, if I... I don't think that's worth it. I want to I wanna save these. I'd rather do this. And save, save these things for other, for other creatures. Swim, swim, shik. For three months, welcome back. Shadeling one for forty months says forty months. That's as many as four tens. You're right, and that's terrible. Uh, uh huh. I see. 
It's a it's a blood artist I can't kill. Um all right. So I assume they just tap. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably just gonna dire tactics their checkpoint officer unless they present a much larger threat because the tapping is really irritating. <laughs> Uh, flooding a little bit over there. Yeah, I just... Get that out of here. That was checkpoint. I'm also flooding a little bit. Man. Alright. Uh, Cinnamon for the 15 month reset. Super hype for Ikoria. Also, really enjoying the FF7 playthrough. Keep it up, G. Thank you. I too am enjoying it. Ooh, the, the Rawgrod Triome. Yeah, come on over. Okay, that's not happening anytime soon. May as well hold his land. I don't know if there's discard. attack that time. Hey, Lee Sharp. Uh, I, this is literally the first game I'm playing with it. I didn't even do the draft, because this is the deck James drafted, but I will be enjoying it. I was very excited to read that entire state of the beta. That was, uh, or state of the game. Sorry, I'm still used to them being called state of the beta. No, I'm very excited for all, all of these things. Splendor Mare. Uh, 3 3 life link. Okay. Well, uh, it's probably just going to meet a divine arrow then. Oh, okay. All right. Still probably just going to meet a divine arrow. Yeah, no kidding, Lee. I know that human draft is something you y'all have been working on for a long time. Be gone. Yes. <laughs> well, given that I drew that. Oh no, it's it doesn't say non-token. There's a lot of good removal flying around. Okay. Ooh. Neat. All right. Let's say, uh, Menace for sure, and let's win more. Leech enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Remove all counters from that creature. Uh, okay. So that resolves. And then I exile it so there's no trigger from Bastion of Remembrance and I have three damage on board. Right? Cool. Neat. 
Good. I'm glad that all worked out how we hoped it would. Master 2505 with a 25 month resub. I came for the magic. I stayed for all the other crazy stuff. Well, I'm glad you did. Welcome. Uh, Helena D5 for 19 months. Welcome back. And Sexual Harassment Panda with a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. Nice dodging of Twitch's auto censoring on your name there. Oh, Serrated Scorpion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Easily keeping this. So I'm going to turn one, the Scorpion, because I don't have a two drop in hand, and turn two, the Barons, and I think my opponent mulliganed. What are we drinking? Uh, this is... It's essentially just local LaCroix. It's flavored sparkling water. Um, made by... There's actually a brewery in town. Uh, Phillips Brewery, and they started making sodas. And then quite recently they um, spun out into... Uh, they're like, wait, we could do that. So it's, it's the Spark Mouth is the brand. This is lemon. It's very nice. Um, what's this do? It's a 2-2. Whenever you cycle another card. Okay, cool. Uh... Well, not worth attacking into that, so... Miniace. And, yeah, Death Touch. Whoa! What the heck was that? Three damage hard creature, you may put a card from your hand on the butt. Oh, wow. All right. Good target. Um, I'm just going to pass. I'm going to play out my 4-2 for no value. Because it's just a better use of my mana. Oil Slick, that's a different... That's Victoria Distillery. Uh, but that is super cool. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Other humans get plus one, plus one. That's nice to hear on this particular turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Yo! <laughs> that was that was a great voice line. <laughs> Just go. Props to you, uh, Arena R and D team, for resisting the urge to have General Kudro go. Yeet! Stop it! What are you doing? No! Why is my blood curdling? All right. What does this do? Sack. Two humans to store a target creature power four or greater. I have no targets for that anyway. And it would be sacrificing these two humans, so this all just happens. That's a shame. Oh no, now it gets menace. Uh oh. Good combo. Uh, where's all my, like, bajillion removals that this deck has? I'm worried that my Lurking Deadeye is not going to be able to trade with that. Well, of course it can't trade with that. That thing has Menace. Uh, I'm going to put the Scorpion in front of it as well. Like, I'm going to double block it. I just hope that my opponent doesn't have... Spell Eater Wolverine has double strike as long as there are three more instances of sorceries in your graveyard. Okay, well that doesn't happen right now. Ah, good. <gasps> and I control a creature with flash. Delightful. So I will... Do I wait? Do I wait? Yeah, I'll wait. So I have a creature with flash. So this has flash. 
Yeah, see, I, I was hoping that they'd sort of go more in on... I want to encourage them to cast non-creature spells to put more counters on Pyroceratops before I kill it. Oh, they could have given Spell Eater Wolverine Double Strike there. I like it. it has a little two on it, so I know when it's going to hit Double Strike. It needs three of them to hit. All right. I'm going to kill that if they attack with it or not, just to be clear. This thing is big frightens. Okay, I love those things. Oh, I'm gonna sack the scorpion, don't worry. I got a whole plan. You can break the rocks in the back. I'm gonna keep working on that in a second. Let me figure out this block. Um. I'm pretty happy trading Perimeter Sergeant for Spellcaster Wolverine. Oh, do they have a spell in hand and they're going to give it double strike at instant speed? Hmm. All right, well, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to block, because I'm going to sack this anyway. And... Yeah, I'll block like this. And this doesn't actually encourage them to cast anything because the Wolverine's in no danger of dying now, but maybe they will anyway. Looks like they're going to try and do something to something here. What do you mean, oops? Okay, so they cycled shredded sails. So just cycle it whenever you cycle, it deals one damage to each opponent. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So it has double strike now. What, are they cycling another Dranith Stinger? Okay. Were they trying to cast that, you think? Oh well, whatever. Anyway, I'll just do this now. Um, yeah, I still think I target the Pyroceratops, though. So I'm going to target you, sacrifice you. And they're not dead. Am I dead? Wait. Other humans. Five. If they go to one. Uh, I go take it. Yeah. This is dangerous. They have, a, they have something to double strike. Maybe I'm dead here. Any number of things. Maybe they mutate. It would be bad. But they didn't. Uh, I think I want to use this aggressively. Yeah. Because this way, if they have, they need to have removal for both creatures. So, a little nervous. Oh no! I lose. Okay, calm down. S settle, settle down. All right, well. One loss, that's fine. That's a good... That's a good card. The, what is it? Blitz Leech? Uh, oh, Alien Nanobots for 33 months says, Still here? Keep it lobster for 41 months. Welcome back. Kirby Tronic for nine months. To meme or not to meme? That is the question. The answer is always yes to meme. Uh, Havarius for five months. Thanks for all the content. I appreciate the work everyone puts into making such a great community. Hey, thank you. And thanks for 
being part of it. The Kraken 19 for 67 months. Do you know if you laid all the magic cards end to end around the equator, a lot of them would get wet? It's true. It's true. It, it blows your mind. Uh, Sloth Hammer for two months. Welcome back. Hwale MTG, a new sub. Welcome to the channel. And Shuggy says, back for nine months. Welcome back. Uh, keep. Keep. Oh, they have, inexplicably, they have a companion. Each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast. Okay. You can just put these cards in your deck. You don't have to, like, do... You don't have to do the thing. You can just... I mean, okay. I Hey, you know what? I'm excited to see it. Kitty! Dies make a human. Alright. Uh, coil bug. Return up to two target creature cards with a total converted mana cost, three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a death touch counter on either of them, put a menace counter on either of them. Okay. That's an awkward draw. Uh, Alright. What does this do, anyway? Oh, sorry. Uh, each other creature you control. Plus, plus one in Vigilance. Oh, so that's probably going to happen. Well, how big is that? 3-2? Alright, I'm ready. Um, go ahead. James and Adam fought, and Adam had the same companion. Nice. Oh, I guess they don't have their third land. Hmm, kitty. I'm going to attack, because I assume what they're going to do... I assume they're not going to block, and the next turn they're going to play... Yeah. They're going to play uh, Kahira. Who, I want to make a command... They're not. Oh, because they only have two mana. Right, okay. Uh... This deck has tons of removal. I'm just gonna not take three damage for several turns. Is my hope. And the hope of all of us. Wow. Alright. Interesting. It says I can cast this even though it would be zero creatures. Uh, okay. I'm saving dead weight for when they finally hit their third land. Oh, that's... that's gotta hurt. That stings. Yeah, come on over. Oh, another one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. That uses both my black mana, which I don't want to do. The turn they swing will hurt. Yeah, and that's going to be next turn is the problem. Uh, Dead I could have hit the kitty. Dead I could have traded for the kitty. I don't. I think you may, maybe you're confusing this with like skeleton archer or something. Like, I could have flashed this in and traded for a cat. I can... I Yeah, I've already cast Mutual Destruction. I know. The 1-1? One, one. Oh, eating the 1-1. One, one. I see. Okay. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Um... Alright, I'm going to attack with this thing. And if they trade it for a 3-1, that's fine. And I f kind of feel like they're not going to. Okay. If they do it, that's also fine. Uh, so, given that... So, I don't have a creature with flash. Okay.
Yeah, so Kahira comes down. Those things all get huge. And they didn't attack, so that's nice. So now we just kill Kahira. Uh, and slam, honestly. Because now I have the scorpion to trade for the saber tooth. And Call of the Death Dweller does get back the scorpion, which is nice. Actually, it's annoying. We get back the scorpion and either of the creatures that are in play that I'm not trading off right now. So, I don't know. Maybe next turn. If they attack, I'll block with the scorpion. And then next turn, perhaps mutually destruct something like that. Is that like the end of turn? Two, two, end of turn. Flying. Oh, it flies forever. It flies forever. Okay. So, in that case, what we will do is slam with everything and slam with everything, sack the scorpion to kill that, and then probably just bring it back. Oh, right, Mutual Destruction has flash because we have Cunning Night Bonder. Right. Though, we have seen a trick that gives their creatures indestructible, so there's a chance that we should not do that. Also, then we can get... Uh, we can only get the scorpion back this turn. Like, they used fight as one. I guess it's uncommon. Uh, I mean, I'm going to use it, because I don't feel like going to one. Um... I just don't know if I'd do it. Yeah, the, yeah, the debate is if I wait. I think I'm going to do it and not bring the scorpion back this turn. I'm just going to do this now. because they only have a 1-1. One, one. I don't think they have a lot of haste in those colors. I assume those colors don't typically get haste. I'm just... I don't know the cards. I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, Coil Bug can recur itself to your hand for a lot of mana. Charge of the Forever Beast. Sorry, what was that? Reveal a creature card from your hand. Deals damage equal to creature... So they revealed Parcel Beast, which they cannot cast because they don't have blue. And then they put solid footing. Plus one, plus one. If the creature has vigilance, it assigns combat damage equal to a seven is equal to its power. Okay, so they just gave it plus one, plus one. Okay. Sure. Well, now I have two targets for this. So that's a very spicy thing. Parcel beast. So they get blue. That's fine. So this turn we get to play Helica Glider and Call of the Death Dweller, which seems very good. So we're going to slam. Yeah, we get to really pop off this turn. So let's get both of these back. Uh, let's give death touch to this one and menace to that one. The one with power and then also this. And we're going to give it flying. I guess we could have given it first strike, but this is also fine. And if they attack, I'm going to block with serrated scorpion because it puts them to one. So, this seems... That was a very good turn. Holy moly. <laughs> wow. Uh, Beckbat for 35 months. Welcome back. Cheers, opponent. A witty username with a 10-month resub. Welcome back. Silver, silver. Uh, Wellbog for 27 months. You are reading this in your voice. Oh, you got me. And Nefarious Ned for 52 months. I've subbed for a whole deck of cards. Who's the Joker now? Oh, pardon me. Uh, your next month, I guess. This format looks powerful, yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to keep it on the draw because we have a turn two and a turn three even if we draw a third swamp. And these are both humans and this makes a human and Kudro likes humans if we eventually draw planes. This is fine. This is a, this is a fine keep. I don't think this is particularly greedy. We have enough stuff to do before we draw a planes. Uh, see, now the question is, if we play this now... Uh, no, I think, we, I think we do that. And pass. Because there's still a chance we draw an untapped land. And if we can do that, then we just get to do several three drops for many, many turns. Mosscoat Goriak. Yeah, right. Looks fun. That's a shame. Uh, okay. The Cunning Knight Bonder does not naturally have menace. Flying, I assume. I think it's got to be flying most of the time, surely. 2-4 with Vigilance for 3? That's a good... That's just an efficient creature. That's just nice. Oh. Boy, I am taking an awful lot of damage. Holy moly. Well, uh, now seems like a great time for Dire Tactics. So, it... For those who missed that, it has Vigilance, and they put solid footing on it, uh, which reads, if the creature has Vigilance, it assigns combat damage equal to its toughness. So we took five. So... It sucks, because this uses our mana very badly, but I feel like we have to make that go away. Like, it'd be better to use any number of our three drops, but... Yeah. I will take a trade. I will take a trade. Or I could go to nine next turn. I sure could do that. And I would rather not if I can avoid it. This is dangerous. I have a microphone right in front of my face and a bowl of trail mix beside me. And it's like, how much do I want to make you all upset? Oh yeah, what's in these rocks? We never got all the way through one. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. What? The, excuse me? Whoa, what? Hang on. What the heck just happened? They just cycled Godzilla? What just happened? When you cycle tit Titanoth Rex, put a trample counter on target creature you control. Wow. This thing has trample now. All right. Cool. And this is an, another 2 4 with vigilance. Oh my god. That card's very strong here. Um, it has Flample. Well. I consider this a free attack. If they want to block, they can block. But maybe I have something. Who knows? Uh, no, I don't know what I'm going to do with the giveaway. It's sometime between now... It's 1.45 local time, so sometime between now and 4.30. Um, probably not for the next little bit of time. Oh. All right. All right. Ugh. Ooh.
heck was that? Turn up to two permanents from your graveyard to your hand. Well, I guess I'm glad we exiled um, Godzilla. Oh, holy crap. Oh, and this again. Now I can't hit it with the Divine Arrow. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to Divine Arrow that. And do I go to five? Yeah, I guess I go to five. Oh, I could have blocked. That's true. Um, I can also double block it, which is what I'm going to have to try to do and hopefully live. I mean, worst case, I can use General Kudro and kill that. Guess I got a Kudro it. Wait, what just happened? Why couldn't I block that? Oh, it ha right, because it got a menace counter from Blood Curdle. Okay. Wow. All right. No, I know Kudro couldn't block. I was going to... Um, it doesn't have five power when it attacks. It Visually, it has five power. But that's a visual representation of it dealing combat damage equal to its toughness. That creature at no point actually had... Uh, four power, so that's that's kind of an kind of a not great thing about how stuff like high alert or that effect has to be displayed. Um, but uh, like uh, I remember in Ravnica Allegiance, that came up sometimes with um, slime bind. You'd get like if you, like if I had the high alert deck, I'd be like attack with this. You know, 2-5, my opponent goes like, haha, slime bind, and it's like, that's, you're still taking 5 damage because slime bind only makes the power smaller, right? So it's a weird thing. Probably should have blocked it last turn. I guess so. Uh, sure. Not great, but sure. Mold. That's fine. I I think that's a fine hand. It's not great, but we have the Dark Bargle to draw some cards. Oh, man. It's this deck again. Um... So I could pass here and take a hit and Dark Bargain. Um, I think I might just dead weight. An attack. Let's do it. Did we lose last game against green white butts? Yes, we did. So we're we're at two losses with this with this uh, awesome deck that James put together. So we're on the bubble right now. We're at six wins, two losses. So this is going to be the last game of this of this draft either way. Hope they can't put another counter on it. Please don't own me. I got owned. I got very owned. That's a shame.
Uh, I guess, yeah. I, I could have blocked in Deadeye, but I kind of want a Dark Bargain here. Boy, they're drawing a lot of cards. And not casting spells, so... Choose two to go in my hand. Uh, the, the spells, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll be flashing in Deadeye either way. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, my opponent's drawing an awful lot of cards. Um, and not, okay, I guess maybe they counter this or something? I, I, they have to have counter spells or something in this deck. Okay. Don't have a sweeper, I guess. You're fighting a VIP. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Pat Bear. Uh, everyone in this event has custom, not custom, has um, special logins for the event. So everyone's a VIP here. Milvim, they yeah, they're at 20. We have 22 cards in our deck. Mutate, let's get your mutates return target. Instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, no. I also don't have any attacks past that thing. That's the annoying part. Also, hi, Pat Bear. Uh, what's this do? Draw a card. They didn't mutate because they want a blocker? Well, yeah, but they can mutate onto it. This is not great. All right. Yeah, we could maybe get back the sergeant, but like it only... It doesn't even buff that much of our team at the moment. Lord Dracus. You know, a Dracus. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one, that particular one, uh, likes lore. It's a... It's a lore Dracus. Cycling the Dranith Stinger. Uh, return target, non-land permanent, you don't control to its owner's hand, draw a card. Wish I could sacrifice that. Go ahead. Yeah, their land is clipping into the geometry back there. <laughs> ah! Dorat, the perfect pet. Uh, one Whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think my opponent has a very cool deck. It's got haste too? Oh man, actively popping off. All right. Didn't need land there. Land was not what I needed. Uh. Hmm. All the decks you're facing, all the decks you should be facing are 6x. I don't even know if that's how it works. And best of ones, to be fair. What the heck? Oh. Okay. Folks, we are in a profound amount of trouble. 15 cards? I don't think the... Wait, what's this? Exile target card was cycling from your graveyard until end of turn you may play that card. What on earth? Okay, you are far too late. It's also just a 4-4? Four -four? Oh boy. 
Okay. Uh, we're gonna deadweight the thieving otter, I guess. Just to stop them drawing cards, because that'll only make Dorat bigger. Definitely in a bad spot here. Capogiallo007, a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. Buabao, another brand new sub. And JawaScript01, another brand new sub. Welcome to the channel, everybody. There you are, my friend. Hello. Hmm. I think I gotta do it now. So let's do it now. Wait the flyer while you still can. I think you're behind, I smart man. Yeah, I guess I could have waited until they tapped their wingspan mentor to get put put another counter on it. Uh Doc Awesome for 47 months. Woo, anniversary. I hope y'all are enjoying Ikoria. Wow, I okay. Did, did, did everybody Everybody catch that? <laughs> What the heck? Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I guess we have to do this now. Okay. Yeah, it is It is uncommon. Oh, the other one's exiled. It's over here. Amusing. Uh, okay, well... The only way out is down. Oh, please block the scorpion. Dang it. Congrats. Oh well. Uh, Zale250 for 37 months. Welcome back. Snow Wolf for 13 months. And Scared Knave also for 13 months. Welcome back, everybody. All right, well, that deck was still awesome, even though we couldn't quite clinch the seven wins, but very, very cool. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Sorry, because James went through all that earlier, but because this is me, it's just launching on this computer now. It's showing me all the stuff. Is this your first draft? It's not even my first draft. James played the first four games of it. <laughs> um, this is my first time playing Ikoria, yeah, so I'm reading a lot of the a lot of the cards. Uh, let's do... I would like to do a sealed. I, I, I don't imagine James did a bunch of... James did sealed this morning. Um... What do you what what do y'all think? What's the Wooberg icon? Uh it's the one color challenge. I think this is like new new player stuff cuz Sparky is here. James did one. Sealed up. Go for sealed. All right. Let's do sealed. Let's do sealed. Ooh, Godzilla Doom Inevitable style. Very nice. Ha bam. That's a lot of different colors. Um, okay. Okay. It, so green or Mardu. Beginning of combat on your turn. Exile red, white, or black creature card. Exile A? Tar exile target. Sorry, red, white, or black creature card from your graveyard. Create a co token that's a copy of it, except it's a 1-1. One, one. It gets haste. Interesting. And Vadrock, Apex of Thunder. 
Three three flying first strike mutate. Whenever it mutates, you may cast target non creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Whoa. Okay. Well. We got King Kong here. When Kolkwal, the Titan Ape, enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Okay. When it attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. Return target human you control to its owner's hand. Cold is indestructible at the end of the turn. So that seems very strong. Uh, yes, we do have the Ralgrin Triome. We have an Evolving Wilds and a Mysterious Egg. <laughs> Love it. Uh, spring Jaw Trap. Yeah, sure. Two ram throughs. Which one's ram through? Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. If the creature you control is trample, excess damage is dealt to its creature's controller instead. I don't know. Green? Okay, hang on. Oh, and we have Titanoth Rex, which is that enormous Godzilla beast we just saw. This is too funny not to try. Flycatcher, Giraffid. Terrifying. Do not like it. Enters the battlefield, vigilance counter or reach counter, sure. I'm just looking at what the green we have is. Survivor's Bond. Return target human from your graveyard to your hand, return non-human from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, okay. I like getting stuff back out of my graveyard. Quilt. Oh, it's got cycling, so I like that. Fully grown. 3-3 three, three, trample, yes. Horn Bash Mentor, put a trample counter on non to non human you control, yes. Put a plus one counter. Okay, so this is like the flying one that we just lost to. Ah, lead the stampede is back. That's probably fine. Migration path. Oh yeah, right. Search your library for two basic lands. And cycling. Might run that. Whatever this creature mutates, search your library for a basic land card. Okay, so there's a bunch of cool green, but like not, you know, obviously not enough. What does Titan what does Titan Oth Rex do. It's an 11-11 with Trample, uh, but you can also cycle it just to put a Trample counter on something else. And then later you can, we could get it back with Survivor's Bond. As it is, you may have noticed, not a human. Um, oh, and there's more green over here. Adventurous Impulse. Ah, oh, the Almighty Brushwag! Oof, 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 oof. Essence Symbiote, whenever a creature you control mutates, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature and you gain two life. And a humble naturalist. Spend one mana of any color, but only to cast a creature spell. Sure. Okay. How much mutate do we have? We have Cloud Piercer. Like, we didn't actually have any mutate in green. Oh, no, we got this one. One. Hey, we got two naturalists, you're right. Um, ferocious Tigerilla. Porky Parrot. Double Porky Parrot. Mm -hmm. Shore Shark. Land Shark. We could play the Companion. Oh, right, yes. No, the Companion would definitely get into this deck. Oh, there is another page that I didn't see. Trumpeting Gnar. Whenever this creature mutates, make a beast. Hi. Hello, friend. Uh, Kahira, yes. Set as Companion. No, I think we just want to run it in the deck. No, go away. I said no. Oh, well. Heal Bonder. This is to Boneyard Lurker. I'm just you mutates return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Holy moly. Saltai? Can we just be Saltai? I think we hit Jeskai with Kahira. We can. It's true. Well, let's see what we have in blue. Because I like the Gnar and I like the Boneyard Lurker. Let's look at blue and black and then we'll then we'll check out Jeskai. Aegis Turtle, it's the O5 for one. Cool. Anticipate, nice. Escape Protocol, whenever you cycle a card, you may play one if you do exile target artifact or creature you control. Oh, you blink, nice. Oh, cool, okay. I would not think we're major into cycling, but it's neat. 
Hampering Snare. I mean, that has cycling. Keep safe. Counter target spell. Target is a permanent you control. Draw a card. Doesn't seem bad. Of one mind, yes. Uh, thieving Otter, yes. Avian Oddity. <laughs> wow, what an amazing beast. Two, four flying when you, cycling when you cycle it, put a flying counter. Sure. Crustacean. So one six with flash. Gust of Wind. That's the one we just saw. I like that. Oh, there's two of them. Interesting. We have things with flying, right? No, we don't. Why would I ever think that? We have that one. We have one thing with flying in this particular deck. Okay. Well, maybe not. Pouncing Shore Shark. Yep. Boon of the Wish Giver. Sounds good. The cycling makes this worth worthwhile. And Wingfold Terran. Uh, flying or Hexproof. I don't, think, yeah, I don't think that's terrible. Boot Nipper. Oh, I like that. It's got Death Touch or Lifelink. Corpse Churn. Okay. Coil Bug we saw. Easy Prey. Just right target me to Return mana cost two or less. Yes. That sounds great. Hi, Swamp Mist. Hello. Unlikely Aid. Right. That one's good. I do like Bastion of Remembrance. Gloom Pangolin is amazing, but it's not a great card in this instance. Memory Leak. That's really funny. Um... Oh, Blood Curdle. Yep. Dark Bargle. The Lurking Dead Eye we just saw. Cavern Whisperer. When this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is definitely the... more likely the direction I'm going to want to go, but... let's take a look at... The Jeskai options. Because you wanted to see the Jeskai options. So we got Vadrock. That's the main thing. Could you by chance move your webcam view? Oh, right. Yes. Hang on. Wait for it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to switch back and forth there to like copy all the audio stuff over to this one. Also, I need to open a window because it is about to get really way too hot in here. One sec. All right, fingers crossed the birds chill out. So, so many gems yet? Yeah, holy moly, I hadn't seen how many gems were on this account. This, of course, is not our account. This is an account provided by Wizards of the Coast for the purpose of the early access streamer event. Thank you to Wizards of the Coast. Um, is the pre release still going on? And if so, how? Snow Wolf, great question. Uh, Chaos Treader just hit the PPR command, which will give you a little video update on the PPR. Uh, it's... It's not a pre-pre-release anymore. It's a post-pre-release. It's happening this coming Saturday. It's an all-day stream with us and a whole bunch of great guests. Definitely check that out. Now. Okay, so our mana base is going to be good for this. Um, let's see what we want to be running in these colors. That one. Like, maybe this one, but I'm not going to put it in right now because it'll do the weird companion thing uh okay red let's see what we got in red lava serpent sure it's got cycling cloud piercer you may discard a card if you do draw a card sure rumbling rock slide deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control that doesn't seem bad uh pyroceratops we saw the porky parrots i like 
Ferocious Tigerilla could be good. Go for blood. Target creature you control fights the creature you don't control. Sure. Blazing Volley deals one damage to each creature opponent controls. Yeah, right. Wraith and Core? I mean, uh, well, I just played a draft. It was super fun. Um, and we had a lot of removal. And now this is my first sealed. So let's see how it goes. Uh, what do we got in white? We haven't really looked at white. Imposing Vantasaur. 3-6 Vigilance, but it's got Cycling. Majestic Oracorn. Sure, we could gain some life. Coordinated Charge. Creatures get plus 2, plus 1. I don't mind that. It doesn't seem like that kind of aggressive deck, though. Vulpakeet. Mutates. Whenever it mutates, put a plus, plus 1 counter on it. Sure. Huntmaster Liger. Whenever it mutates, other creatures you control get plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Sure. Spontaneous Flight. Uh, I mean, I like that it keeps flying. So maybe Pacifism for sure, Divine Arrow for sure. Solid Footing is a maybe. Uh, I like Light of Hope just because it's... Uh, you have a lot of options there. And I, maybe not the cat. And then we already sort of looked through blue. And I think these things probably probably get in we have more flyers now so maybe gust of wind uh yeah i know i have another rock slide i don't know if i want to run both of them like this is a this has already got a lot of four drops but this this one mutates for three so maybe they go here it's hard to say. I don't. I haven't actually really played with mutate. In fact, these all mutate for three. So that's interesting. But we don't have any. We don't have any two drops. So that's sort of irrelevant. I guess we have this turtle we could play. Yeah, I guess we do want the rumbling rock slide, don't we? Because it costs four mana to cast. So we probably do want that. Yeah, maybe the cat's in here as a mutate target. Do we want the turtle just as a thing to mutate onto? Hmm. Gosh, maybe. Maybe that's why this card exists. I don't know, folks. I, th I think I like the, the green deck better. Oh, yeah, we do have the egg. You're right. We would probably run egg in this deck as a mutate target. But I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go back to with the green base option. So the question is Do we run Colossification? Hmm. Hmm. Yes? Okay. Gonna run this guy. Gonna run this thing. Not as a companion. And I think we're gonna be in blue, so I think we run the Gnar. Or maybe, I don't know, are we green, blue, or green, black? That's actually, that's something we need to think about. I think we might, uh, we'll count how many things we, count how many mutates we have if we want to run the egg. Um, I don't mind the naturalists. I don't think we have enough mutate to run this bear with upside. The almighty brushwag. Oh, it's got trample though. It's got trample. The mightiest brushwag. We've got to try it. Um. So yeah, I think the question is just if we want to go more into black or more into blue. Technically don't need blue for the mutate. That's true. You could technically mutate it for three green green. Um, Graham, are you avoiding the companion restrictions or focused on avoiding revealing it? Uh, the, re the restrictions are each creature card has to be a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast. So it means we couldn't run humble naturalists. We couldn't run brushwag. We couldn't run hornbash mentor or alert heel bonder. Um, or f this 
we could run beast uh we couldn't run colgla so it's just the the restrictions don't the restrictions do not help us so um Like, I'm just happy with this as a 3-2 with Vigilance for 3, so it's fine. Yeah, let's get some blue in here. Let's get the Otter in here. Divination at worst. Uh, I don't mind Keep Safe. That's pretty tempting. Um, I think the Avian Oddity seems good. I kind of like Pouncing Shore Shark. I'm tempted by... Gust of Wind. Which is just like a bounce that replaces itself. Probably anticipate, yeah. I like Boon of the Wish Giver. Because it cycles. Kahira is also a Vigilance Lord. Yes, all the creatures that are cats, elementals, nightmares, dinosaurs, or beasts, anyway. Why isn't companion your companion? I was just talking about that, actually. Um, because the restrictions for making it our companion make our deck worse. So we're just playing it as a card, because you're allowed to do that. Oh, right, the, the, the Gnar. The Gnar was not in the Gadek. Get the Thorn Falls in there. Um, do we run the egg? Do we run the egg? What up, G? I just walked up 59 flights of stairs in the Shinra building. Hell yes. How many mutates? Let's count. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Four. So probably not. We Probably we don't run the egg. There we go. That was, that was easy. Do we run an evolving wild? I don't think so. We're only two colors. We're not getting greedy. Uh, do we run any of these? Search your library for two basic lands. It's got cycling. Eh. What do we have? 14 lands, nine, or it's 14 creatures, nine non creatures. This seems fine. I don't really like cards like this, if I'm honest. Um, our only sort of removals are like ram through and combat tricks, but that's also probably okay. Gust of Wind is a sorcery. Yeah, we could maybe run this just as a two-drop, since some of these decks seem kind of fast. There's not a lot of removal in black. There's Blood Curdle. And Easy Prey. And I mean, I don't know. I could splash for Blood Curdle, I guess. What does the rare land do? Uh, it is a Triome. So it enters tapped, or it cycles for three, and it taps for red, blue, or white. So it's not really helpful. When did G tag in? About a little over an hour ago. Um. Yeah, there's also this creep. Like, we could splash some black if we wanted. I mean, this actually, you don't even need black for for its mutate. Wilt isn't great. Yeah, I, I sort of put that in there because it cycles. I don't know if there's artifacts or enchantments that are relevant. So, yeah, maybe we cut that. Bring in this thing. Um... Let's do one Evolving Wilds, and then maybe we do splash this Blood Curdle too. Wilt's great in this format. Well, there we go. Do you reconsider Egg now? No, I don't think so. I think we just make one other cut if we want to bring in Blood Curdle. And it's maybe something like... I don't mind a Mammoth Spider, actually, so maybe it's something like keep safe. Maybe we just cut keep safe. Not the draw for? 
Oh, did I not put that in? I thought I put that in. No, I didn't. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like that too, actually. Let's do that. And this. And I'm still... I'm tempted by Wilt. I don't know. Let's let's run it without Wilt and see what happens, I guess. Cut the 2020 aura. Okay, I mean, yes, obviously this card is maybe not ideal. Uh, but... We're... That's in there for the memes. Um, still got 15 creatures. So I think the Humble Naturalists are fine. Because Wilt should have a lot of creatures to cast. That'll help, actually, with the Boneyard Lurker. The second Evolving Wilds? Eh, I guess. This deck's just going to be a little slow. One way or another. What does Ram Through do? Uh, it, our creature deals damage to their creature. If it has trample, it also, like, sort of tramples over, which is fun. So. Yeah, Colossification, ram through. ka -chow. No harm in running the second. I don't know that that's true, but maybe we do run the second. If we do that, then I want to cut a swamp. I don't know why it's giving me four swamps for, I mean, really just for blood curdle. I want to at least cut one, maybe even two. If we're running both Evolving Wilds, maybe I only go down to two swamps because we don't need it for the Mutate on Boneyard Lurker. And how many humans do we have? Two, three, four. Four. That's not a huge number. Let's do... Two swamps and one of each of those. Does this account have fancy land? No. Okay. Okay. What about card backs? Oh yeah, right. We could just spend gems. We could get ourselves some fancy land. Uh, uh, bundles? I don't even know where I find that. Where do I find cool looking land? Oh, oh! Get ourselves the Nyx land. Oh wait, actually. There we go. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops. Does it seem okay? Should we go six and six? Oh, uh, no, there's definitely a lot more green in there. This is fine. All right. Let's play. Wait, what time is it? I should have taken a quick break. We'll take a quick break after this game. Whoop. Now I'm over here. How many forests for the ape? That's a great question. It's three, so I think we're good on that. Speaking of which, uh... Yeah, sure, we'll keep it. Let's do that. Why is it so loud? Why is the Thornwood fall so loud? Sleeper Dart. Sacrifice Sleeper Dart target creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Oh, that's annoying. All right, uh, oh wait, no. Any two drops to play? No, Evolving Wilds it is. Might be cycling Boon of the Wishgiver. 
at the end of their turn too. Uh, one of the voice with a 23 month resub almost two years best decision I made hey thank you and 100 bits from evil bad man I hope you find this final Rusev day I hope this final Rusev day finds you appropriately elated I hope that doesn't mean what I think that means uh, alright so we're gonna do that and uh, I think we actually want do we go looking for one of our swamps at this point? Or do we just want to be absolutely sure that we can hit... I should have cycled first. That we can hit Kolga when we get six land. Oh, we already have three green. So then, yes, we should get we should get the swamp. And I'm going to cycle Boon to the Wishgiver here. Nice. Uh, I mean... Yeah, let's get Thieving Otter down there. See what happens. Actually, Alert Heal Heed Bonder would be just pretty tack against this Sleeper Dart, so maybe I should have done that. Oh, Boneyard Lurker, get back Evolving Wilds. Can a player counter cycling? So, generally speaking, no. Someone will handily run in and say, ah, but Stifle counters abilities. And it's like, yes, Stifle does counter abilities. Generally speaking, no, you can't counter cycling. What do you think, folks? Do I try to mutate onto this thing? Or do I just... They have mana open, and I don't like it. I think I'm just going to attack. I'm going to try to attack, and they're probably going to try to kill it. Oh my gosh, they didn't. Nice. All right, well, in that case, I will just... Play this thing. These evolving wilds now on the turn. And next turn, I will probably mutate Boneyard Lurker onto one of those things. Probably the Alert Heed Bonder. You, do you even have anything to get with the mutate? Uh, yes, it's I have an evolving wild. So they cast that, and then is this being mutated or not? I actually can't tell. No. Okay, so it's a two-three with reach. Okay. Mutate is non-human, right? Yes. Thank you. I need to remem remind myself of these things. Again, this is like my first time playing with these cards, so. <gasps> the Almighty Brush Wag. If I was going to do. I should have not played that land, and then played Boneyard Lurker, got back Evolving Wilds, made sure that Kolga... Uh, anyway. Uh, so I kind of want to make sure that we get Kol, Kol, Kogla. I want to make sure we get King Kong next turn, so I kind of want to just play these two. Um, maybe hold the Lurker. So let's do that. Ram through the tapper. That's pretty tempting, honestly. I think it's an instant. So 
so probably just wait. What do the three points of creatures on the battlefield mean? Uh, that they have more to read. That they have... That's like... Dot, dot, dot. And... That's true. We do have... The combo. So it's very tempting... To hold Ram through. Now they get to attack? Oh, by tapping with... Oh, I see. Okay. They're gonna, like... They're gonna aggro tap, you think? K-R-S-L-C-S-N a brand new sub welcome to the channel thank you uh, Mennonite that's new as of today that is a very recent visual design change it's pretty clean I dig it gonna mutate onto that glowstone recluse. Wow. That's big and I can't do anything about it. So it's gonna be a massive creature that also flies. And the draw card here. Okay. I mean hopefully I get to just fight that thing with King Kong. Are all the people playing streamers? Yes, that's the idea today. This is the early access streamer event. Okay, so now this looks like this. Ram through in response. That wouldn't kill it. I had nothing big enough to kill it. Neat. Uh, sure, we'll put a death touch creature on my almighty brush wag. Trample, death touch, trample, death touch. I mean, yeah, now I get to just kill it <laughs> with Brushwag. <laughs> if they attack, I'm going to do that. I'm going to ram it with my Brushwag. Target creature you control deals damage to its power. Yeah. So... Poke. <laughs> that was neat. Uh, all right, so now, big big lad. Hunted nightmares are just a four. Or five. Oh no, menace. Uh, I guess I kill that then. <laughs> Flavor text of classification. Turns out the case of the flattened outpost and the case of the missing kitten were related. That is good. You can kill both? No, well, it only kills one creature. Big lad is going to fight the big, the big boy because then I get to attack. Why wouldn't Kolga have reach? You make a you make a strong argument. <laughs> Read the naturalist flavor text. The key to bonding with monsters, no matter their size, is knowing where they like to be scratched. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Hmm. So kind of you. Okay. So, return target human you control to its owner's hand, and Kolga gains indestructible until end of turn. Kolga does not have trample. And classification also does not give trample, which is entertaining, but... And we're... 
two mana away from casting Colossification, because Humble Naturalist doesn't help us cast it. Does Naturalist help us... Mutate is an alternate casting cost, right? Yes. Okay, so Naturalist can help us mutate Boneyard Lurker, so that's that's nice. Cavern Whisperer. Okay. It's a 4-4 with Menace. So... Can't Colossify Brushwag yet. So Kolga's going to attack and take out the Sleeper Dart, and they get to keep Kolga tapped down for a turn. Oh no, they just tap Kolga. Sure, that makes sense, I guess. Um... Okay. Uh, well, maybe I just give, maybe just play Flycatcher and give it reach. Don't have the mana to do a lot of anything else at this point. Ah, uh, well, actually, I could mutate my Boneyard Lurker onto... I should have done that pre-combat if I was going to. Mutate Boneyard Lurker onto Thieving Otter. Get back into Evolving Wilds. Should have swung with Otter. This thing just blocks it. Oh, yeah, and I have fully grown in hand. You're right. So I guess they're going to use Checkpoint Officer and Sleeping Dart to keep Kolga tapped forever. Uh, this one. Oh, interesting. Okay, I've never, I have, this is the, for my first time seeing this interface. I want the one that's bigger. What's the, what's the under over on this? Also... Sleeping Dart is Sacrifice? Oh, Sacrifice. Okay, that's way better than I... Better for me than I thought it was. Normal fizzy, n normal not fizzy water. Kuzuki for 28 months. Welcome back. I'm sorry, who are you? Nethroy, apex of death. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And I discard a card. That's quite a lot of death. I'd say that's that is an apex of death. That's that's a whole heap and helping of death right there. Um, I think I discard. this um. I 
Do I do it to the ape, you think? This thing does tap the creature, by the way. Boy, that's, uh... And that's any time that creature mutates, hey? Oh, boy. Oh, okay, there we go. Sacrificing the sleeper dart. Okay. Okay. Well... <clears throat> It is time. They have to they have to kill it, right? Like I'm gonna do it now. Again, this taps the creature, so I can't do it until next turn. Um I can't attack them until next turn, but we're gonna we're gonna try. We didn't yeah, I didn't come here to not make an enormous brushwag. So I'm talking about the brushwag. They'll keep it tapped with the officer? Oh, they will keep it tapped with the officer. You're right. But then Kolga gets to attack. Gee, good luck. High five magic with a raiding party. What's up? Oh, yeah, vigilance. I have a creature with vigilance. They still time. They still tap it, though. They have no officer mana right now, but again, this taps... Oh, we went to attackers. Whoopsies. We're doing it. This is what we came here to do. Making an enormous brushwag is why those cards are in this deck. If they kill it right now, they kill it right now. Now they have to decide what they're going to do with their checkpoint officer. On board, they have to decide what they're going to do with their checkpoint officer, and I can start making Kolga indestructible, and I can give it a... Uh, I can give it a trample counter. Jesus. Okay. So they draw two cards. Oh, I discard fully grown. That sucks. I go to combat. Oh, you tap the almighty brushwag, I see. Oh. Smart play. All right. Well, Kolga gets in without without a without being able to trample. I get your crystal. That's cool. They cycle another crystal. You just chump block, yeah. Or just take seven. Sure, I guess you're at 22. Alright. Yeah, I guess not a lot of damage has been happening this game. Sadly, we don't have the ram through. We have a second ram through. <laughs> to note, we have a second ram through. So, fingers crossed. Uh, Curly Mop Top Ragamuffin for 65 months, 65 months of magic and other stuff. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And Zahawi Cheer with 100 bits for colossifying the brush wagon. And thanks again to Good Luck High Five for throwing their, throwing some raiders over here. Hope you had a good morning playing Ikoria if you are still watching. Parcel Beast. Just playing a Parcel Beast. Look at the top card of your library if it's a land. Okay. It's not being mutated. They're just playing a Parcel Beast. 
So I think they're hoping to kill us in the air uh, before we can kill them with Kolga. Kol Kolgla. Before King Kong can kill them. Which one of these has lifelink? Oh my god. Okay. Ram through. Damn it. By the way, I think their plan is going to work. Just saying. We have some cards in the deck that will just win, but... Not very many. Uh, yeah. Like, they're only losing three life a turn, two life a turn there. Because of, um, the lifelink on Nethroy. So this could be going better. We also have removal, yeah. Now it's tempting to kill Nethroy if we draw it, but really it's the checkpoint officer. The problem is, is that now we're taking eight and we're going to four. So the checkpoint officer is like not even the most imminent problem. Explain lore-wise. Oh, come on. Explain lore-wise how the officer is arresting this humongous brushwag. Well, I mean, the brushwag doesn't know any better. Oh, hey, what's up? That doesn't help. But it cycles. So I guess we cycle. We have spells we could draw. That, that, that was not one of them. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Oh, man. Oh, well. <laughs> How much land are you running? The same as always. Wow. Wow. What a game. All right, now I'm going to take that quick break. Uh, so don't go away and come back to watch me win with this deck. He said confidently. First of all, actually, BWK789 with a 10-month resub says two months off a full year. Jindari just got a gift sub thanks to Death, right? Sharkman and Evil Clock is back for 39 months. Ooh, and Dix. Hey, what's up, Dix? For 80 months, happy Godzilla Day, and to you too, Dix. Uh, all right, don't go away. I'll be right back. Honk. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Ikoria Seal deck, let's continue. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, wow, right into a game. Terrific. The honk made me jump a little bit. That's why I like to... That's why I'm not just, like, 
screaming as soon as I turn the turn the mic back on. Uh So this is why I like cards like this. Because I'm going to keep this hand. I know this is not good. I'm going to keep this hand and cycle this. And we have a lot of green sources in our deck. And we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Look, and our opponent mulligan. So basically, that's like w winning the game. I don't know. Let's start excavating so we can play music. There we are. Yeah, this one's breakable too, uh, but it doesn't make any different sound. And these ones make sound too, but not as nice. Awkward, very awkward. Okay, so instead of drawing a forest, we drew a card that needs three of them to cast. Uh, okay, ah, there we go, perfect. See, just like we drew it up. <clears throat> Let's do one damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine. We might be mutating our Boneyard Lurker onto our Humble Naturalist. Uh. Please, Graham, the camera. What? All right, can't mutate onto people. Right. <clears throat> well, maybe we just play Boneyard Lurker then. Can't see the macro cards. Oh, sorry. Uh. I just play a four-four, right? We'll just play a four-four. Oh, they're gonna counter it, aren't they? Sorry, I'll make sure to do it like this instead. It's like two bears. Ow. I probably could have attacked with my 1-3 there, but... This way we actually get Kogla next turn? And that seems good. Alright. It's King Kong time. Okay. Yeah. Turn five, King Kong seems very good. Hey! Okay, first of all. All right, well, we have ways to get that back. Yeah, why doesn't Kogla have custom animations? Sorry, what? Whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on ominous seas. Remove eight shadow counters. Make a kraken. Okay. <coughs> well, the pacifism is pretty frustrating. Maybe we should bring in that wilt. Uh, I guess we're just playing this brushwag.
It's just an 8-8. It doesn't have hexproof. Okay. All right. Well, we know we know General Kudro has has an animation because he banishes the card out of their graveyard. Skybond. So this is sorry. Cre spells your opponent's control that cast this creature cost two more to cast. Okay, so I can't actually hit it with that right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh... <laughs> this is this is sealed. Kill Kogla? Oh, yeah, I could. I could kill my own thing. I kind of think I'd use Survivor's Bond for me medium value and get back Boneyard Lurker here. It is... I mean, yeah, I guess we're sort of just deferring the creature removal until we play... Kogla the second time. Not the draw. Can't get the draw four back with Survivor's Bond. It only hits a human and a non-human. Yeah, actually, uh, let's do that. Oh no, it's non-human. Oh, well, whoops. Oopsie boopsie. Oh well. No worries. I'm not bothered. This is day this is day zero of getting to play with these cards. Um, you viewers at home are gonna make some errors. I'm definitely gonna make some errors. Er no one minds. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, you're just a 4-5 flyer. Merely a 4-5 flyer. Okay. Oh, that's fun. I think I gotta kill that. So I think I will. No, James didn't make this deck. I made this deck. Uh, James did a draft, and I played the last half of it, and then I did a sealed, which is this. I think I'm going to kill that thing with this thing. Put a menace counter on... Uh, oh, maybe on Brushwag, actually. Let's do it. Let's do that. And I'm going to pay that much to do it. Kill with Kolgla? Kolgla can't kill it. Menace counter on Brushy there, because then they both get to attack. Get to use a Trumpeting Gnar next turn. Probably on... on the Brushwag. May as well go massive on one creature, why not? My plan is to end the game before Ominous sees is even even threatens to be an issue 
he said, hopefully. Um, oh, he made that companion? What? Oh, he made a deck with that companion. Oh, okay. What's, what is the... You're starting to ask 20, 20 more? He did that? Oh, my gosh. Are you not playing with anyone else? I mean, I, I'm playing against this very human opponent. I don't know who they are, but... This is maybe actually really... Oh wow, it worked. Okay. It's maybe maybe a very vulnerable creature. But it was my only tar target because I can't mutate onto humans. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, now I have extra stuff. Uh, you, I wouldn't have gotten the 3-3 if they'd killed the brush wagon response. I just would have gotten the original. I would have gotten the gnar, the trumpeting gnar. I would not have gotten the beast, because the be you only get the beast when the mutate happens successfully. There was hexproof. There is a hexproof. You can. Some, there is a card that does hexproof counters. Thank you, Nameless Sword. Only on itself, though. Uh, no. There's like the there's the bog bonder. Oh, in Commander. Right, right. Sorry, yes. But Hexproof tokens do exist. Counters do exist. But I guess not in Slippery Bog Bonder? Yeah. I guess it's not in this set. Um, I'm going to keep it. Because it's sealed and I'm greedy. Always had it, never didn't have it. What does this do? One, three, frog. Each creature spell casts one less if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card and discard a card. Very cool. Um... Welcome back, Lasko the King. I agree with you. Oh, wow. What a good combo. What a fantastic combination of things. Uh, oh, it has cycling. Okay. Um... I think I'm just going to play this then. Next turn I get to play as of, or of one mind for one. Assuming Avian Oddity lives through this block I'm about to make. Look at this. Look at this art. 
I'll make it real big. I know that the text box is obscured, but it's just like this mass of wings with a beak in the middle. I love it. Yeah, there is a reference to the Wanderer in the set, Quirky Gecko. There's like one card that the Wanderer's on, and it like it's the flavor text from Vivian being like, I saw her, and then she was gone. Like, the implication is that the Wanderer can't control how she planes walks, and that's why she's the Wanderer, because she just vorps from plane to plane all the time, uncontrollably. And the only reason that anyone had a chance to get to know her on Ravnica was because everyone was trapped there and couldn't planeswalk. It's pretty cool. Phase Dolphin. Whenever Phase Dolphin attacks another target attacking creature, can't be blocked this turn. That's cool, I guess. Ooh, I like that. Alright, let's start with this. Yes, alright. And then... What do we put this on? The only one I can put it on. God, okay, the fact that it can only hit non-creatures, I have to get that through my head. Anyway, we're doing this. I mutate when it costs you the creature underneath because it has an ability that happens when you it's whenever the creature mutates you search your library for a basic land put on the battlefield tap and shelter your library so doing that got me the third forest I needed to cast King Kong next turn that's so suspicious No, mutate does not, uh, does not, um, give the creature summoning sickness again. I see. Well, so we have two options here. We could trumpeting Gnar and ram through something, uh, but I don't, nothing here has trample. Um, or we just play Kolga. Col Kogla. I think we just play Kogla and kill their flyer. Hey, what's up? It's me, King Kong. The next turn, assuming we get to untap and attack with King Kong, uh, we're gonna probably attack with King Kong, fully grown, and ram through. And that seems pretty good. Farfinder enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic card. Okay, yeah, this seems pretty strong. They didn't block. I, I think they're just dead then. Fair cards. Fair cards. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moly. Ram through is unreal. All right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Spells with trample. All 
I like that they got it. They got that worked out. They're like, look, we can't. It can't say trample because of the way the rules are, but uh, we figured out a way. We figured out a way to sort of make it work. Why is that not lined up? That bothers me that that's not lined up. Very minor thing. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, I think this is fine. This is fine. We're on the draw. We have we have a, we have a cycle. Good game. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. This is Jordan. It's us versus Ray FK, aka our very good friend Jordan. There's that blue. Oh, did we just get a raid? Did we just get a Yeehaw style raid of cowboy magic from Ben Wheeler? We sure did. Welcome 119 people. What on earth? So that thing's got menace now. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's gonna get bigger and scarier too. Oh boy. What on earth? Wow, all right. No! Oh man. I gotta just kill it now. Like, I wanna play this so I can give it menace, but I gotta just kill that thing. Kill it before it lays eggs. <laughs> well, that was- that was a horrifying beast. Oh, it might get- it can get hexproof? Okay, I'm glad we killed it when we did. <laughs> oh my god. There, see? Hexproof counters in draft. Just like we said. What? I didn't even realize that much that there was that much, uh, mana going on over there. All right, well, now the plan is this. We're going to attack, and then we're going to make it a big lad. And then... Ram through. This format is wild! No, you're not the land I needed. For anyone unaware, our opponent who is using lots of emotes is a very good friend of ours. <laughs> so we are we are we are having a goof. What? Huh. All right. Oh, I can just cast this? No, I can't. I can cycle it.
two trample counters. I could attack and then ram through. I don't know if I want to. I don't think I do. Double trample is an instant win. I mean, it should be, right? It's like triple strike. very suspicious. I'm still suspicious. Okay. Honestly, drawing another forest would be pretty cool. That kind of counts. Don't have essence scatter. Oh. No. Why does Thorin would fall sound like this? <laughs> How many trample counters can we put on one migratory great horn? Enough. We kicking that triple trample, y'all. Hey, what? No, stop. No, hey, hey, no bully. Well, you're no help. Uh, potentially help, actually. We could two-for-one ourselves with this. What the... Oh, there was no excess damage. Right, yes, I knew that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's the noise I make when he casts that spell. Look how few lands are left in my deck. Kill me with combat damage. <laughs> Good game, Jordan. Welcome back. Oh, man. I let my little gremlin shine. Hell yeah. Uh, when I used that Evolving Wilds at the end, I had five lands left in the deck. <laughs> And then, and then drew one of those five lands. I had six, got one with Evolving Wilds, and then drew the other one. <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, man. Your two cards are both lands. I sort of assumed, yeah. Ooh, Luis Salvato. That's a name I'm familiar with. Keeps. EZ Keeps. 
cycling Boone again. Back to my own nonsense. All right, cheers, dude. <laughs> play weird bird next turn rather than the other naturalist weird bird why did all the crystals glow when I cast that Oh, I'm behind on subs. Goodness gracious me. Pete D. Gravy for 36 months. Papper Slappin' for 75. Louis Rat for three months. Uh, the raid from Ben Wheeler again. Thank you for that. Cotillion 80, 1850 for 15 months. I will take those Bezos bucks. Fluffy Bumhole for seven months. AI Amethyst for 32 months. In lockdown, there's so much free time for crafting. Just saying. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Um, so that has Menyache. So we're going to take some hits from that. Um, I wonder if this turn we just... Uh, no, this turn I'll just play this. And I'm going to give it... Vigilance. Looking forward to being glued to this channel on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> you need a haircut just like me? I do need a haircut. But unfortunately, I was already behind on getting a haircut before this all happened. And now, I, mean, I assume there's going to be just like a colossal gang up of people waiting to get their haircut afterwards. So, oh well. Uh, Reneko for 61 months. Uh, Coria, make my monster grow. Memnus for five months. Zethras for 70 months. Thanks for the streams and the entertainment. Thanks for watching them. Ludido for 17 months. Trample, then trample, and then trample some more. Camthalian for 29 months. Yo, thanks for keeping us sane. Thanks for being here. Lord Hosk for 56 months. 56 months, that's almost one forest. I like your profile picture, Lord Hosk. Internet art for 22 months. 22 months sub. Looking forward to drafting this set after the pandemic panic. I mean, you can draft it on Arena, whatever, but yes. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more buzz cuts. I don't think it's going to get to that point. I think I have a weird head that will look dumb and bad if I try to give it a buzz cut. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I see what you're saying. Dr. Greninja gifted subs to Vetinara and Spooky Noises. Thank you, Dr. Greninja, and welcome to the channel, both of you. Okay, gee, we can get you a haircut, but I need to know how many international traveling laws you want to break. <laughs> if I was going to go against general intelligent consensus, I would just get my haircut in town. <sighs> okay, I'm going to take one more hit and hope that we can get away with... doing some sort of shenanigans with Fully Grown. Tapping the flyer, I guess? Tapping Horn Bash? Tapping the flyer. All right. Well, then I guess I don't attack. Congratulations, you did it.
Have your kiddo cut your hair on live? That seems like a bad idea. Frankly, I don't think she would enjoy that. <laughs> All right. Very well. If you just if this is just a trade for Hornbash mentor, I'm fine with that. 4 damage. Well, then I guess we're doing this. Oh wait, did I just Did I just completely goof myself? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, good. Oof. Oh, I was afraid I had somehow ruined it so that it still died from that, and I was like, oh, no. The almighty brush wag. Uh, but first, let's go to combat. I guess they just put both of these in front of the otter. Yeah, we get to make the brushwag bigger, which is kind of cool. Brushwag is so good. I love it just looks just like the original Brushwag. Like, obviously it's brand new art, but it's just like, yeah, it's a... It's a bundle of twigs with a head and limbs coming out of it. That's a Brushwag! Ooh! Okay. That dinosaur has turned into a Porky Parrot. It can ping anything for one. Which is cool, I suppose. Lionsgate Pride, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. And a mumpa for 12 months. The one year. Welcome back. Uh, oh, if I play this land, then I can mentor and brushwag. So, yeah, we're going to go with the onboard tricks. To combat! Remember, Brushwag gets even bigger. I think that's wrong. Surely that's incorrect. Oh, another Divine Arrow, I guess, gets me here because I should have activated those in the other order. No, there's no way that I could have done this properly if they have Divine Arrow. As long as they, as long as they uh, did it properly. Okay. Oh! Wow! I couldn't have activated it a second time. Humble Naturalist only taps for mana to cast creature spells. Yeah, Fight as One is very strong. So what happened there was the Porky Parrot and the Human each got plus one, plus one, and indestructible until end of turn. Sorry, what? Exile red or black or white creature from your graveyard. Neat. Are you attacking me? Are you threatening me personally to my face? Okay. Uh, 
Aren't you dead? I have nine power of trample. Like, Hornbash Mentor has a trample counter on him. So... I guess I could have attacked with Humble Naturalist as well. I, I'm just worried, I suppose. Okay, so this puts them to one. Okay. Should have attacked with Naturalist, I guess. What does that do? Deals five damage. Deals five damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then now they have their checkpoint officer that they can tap. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the tokens get haste. It's weird. Uh, I don't actually think we would have won if we'd swung at the naturalist. They just would have had to block differently. We'd, we'd, we'd still have the otter. They wouldn't have been able to double block the otter, is the thing. Getting to play another Forbidden Friendship is pretty spicy. I think you just attack with everybody here, don't you? Because this has menace, yeah. Can't really go to two. Can't really go to five either. That helps a little. I don't think it helps enough. They have more creatures in here, don't they? Well, they have one. So this gives me a blocker and gains me a life, but they can tap it down. So I think I'm dead. I think I'm just dead on board, actually. Six without the three. That, like, yeah. That's six. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Well, uh, that was kind of a disappointing <laughs> seal performance, if I say. Uh, best of one draft? Anybody? Want to try it? Let's do it. We got time, right? Yes, we do. Uh, Kitsume Kajime for two months says, Oh, I totally forgot I had free Twitch Prime sub, lol. Yes, you do have a free Twitch Prime sub. You should use it somewhere. Seriously, so, I don't care what channel, but you should, if you have Twitch Prime, you get a free sub to someone, and you should use it because it's just Amazon money sitting on a table otherwise. Uh, Kilrin Cray for 52 months says, Tight plays. And Nick T Magic for eight months. Love watching everything you guys do, especially in these trying times. Hey, thank you. And Mad Wolf twelve ninety for seventeen months. Yay, magic to make the quarantine more entertaining. Cha cha cha. Whoops, clonk. Sorry. The Jugger Nate, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel with Twitch Prime. There you go. Oh yeah, I got to give away the Card Kingdom money at some point. Um, I will figure out how to do that. There's some sort of system for this in the back end is there not I thought there was a thing but I guess there isn't yes it's a uh, store credit to card kingdom Got $50. Uh, the stream is not sponsored necessarily by Card Kingdom, but they did give us 
James and myself between us, $100 of Card Kingdom store credit to give away. James chose randomly. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll figure out some way of doing that, but let's do this first. All right, so this is a human draft with human people, so we're, there's a timer, which is going to be interesting because I haven't read all of these cards. So... Let's do it. Oh, and I got Dorat. That's a human person. I told James to give away $99 and he didn't listen. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, cool. I haven't seen this interface before. The, like, actual human, human drafting thing. Human drafting added to Arena now? Yeah, I think tomorrow it's ready to go. Uh, Sentry, brand new sub. Welcome. I exist in this universe. Welcome to you. I will get back to you momentarily because I have this thing to do. What's this? Labyrinth Raptor. Red, black, 2-2, two, two, menace. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. What? With menace. Okay. Wow. Cool. Let's do that. Hope we wheel this. We won't, but... It sounds fun. Let's do it. Camera is covering the cards. Camera is covering some of the cards. I will go over here now. It's not... It's not perfect system. But we'll do that. Oh, I see I've got packs stacked up on me. See? I got... They're waiting for me. You can see. Anyway. Let's do it. Uh, one of them triomes. Pretty cool. Footfall crater. Target creature gains trample and haste until end of turn. Interesting. Crystal. Uh, suffocating fumes. I like the dead eye. Tentative connection. Oh, cost less if you have a creature with menace. Should we just go all in on menace matters? Oh, Farfinder actually is probably pretty good. Manus, Tribal. Alright. Good with Menace. This is just good. Shore Shark. Ooh, you can mutate that for Red Red. I think I'd take that. Lava Serpent seems fine. This thing seems fine. I like it. I like the illustration up at the top of where the packs are. That's cool. That's cool. They, this looks... This is slick. This looks really nice. Uh, so Kamish for 25 months says five, 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 five months with pluses in between. Otter Helix for 40 months. Meldrum 112 for a brand new sub. Occasionally Manly for 35 months. Gifted by Jeffrey Bezos. A box of noobs for 10 months says 10 out of 10. An HP brain case for 63 months says 63 months. That's almost 69 months. Nice. Yeah, so the, you should check out the state of the game update. But basically, um, the way that they have, the way that they're doing drafts now is that there's a best of three, the like traditional draft that's only with, with humans. And then there's the premier draft, which is this, which is best of one with humans and is ranked. And then there's the uh, quick draft, which cycles between formats every two weeks and was, is with bots and is best of ones. So uh, probably just blood curdle. What's this do? Sanctuary smasher, six, four, first strike. When you cycle it, put a first strike counter. That looks like a big, good, scary boy that I would probably love to have in this deck. But this is just a removal spell. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Blitzleech is also... That got me a lot earlier. Blitzleech seems sweet, but we're going to take Blood Curdle. And it gives a Menace counter. So, you know, it's all on flavor. Exactly. Dark Bargle, possibly. Neither of these really help the colors I'm in. Wolverine could be good. Shredded Sails, Destroy Target Artifact, 4 Damage Creature with Flying, Cycling 2. Uh, I think we'll take the Wolverine. Thank you. 
it said. <clears throat> uh, D spoiler, this is Ikoria. He is brand new. Cards fly in from the left or the right, depending on what pack you're on. Oh, I haven't seen, I guess we haven't gotten to pack two yet. I'm excited to see that, honestly. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> um, one second, let me see if... Let's see if Lurbot has a giveaway function that I just forget exists. Uh, well, there's that leech I mentioned, and I think I take it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, there's so many cards that I don't know that I'm not really reading most of the other ones. Uh, you do get less time as the pack goes on, so let's just take this thing. Uh, man, mutual destruction I think is probably pretty good. Aw. Dino Friend. Another Spell Eater Wolverine. I think we'll take Mutual Destruction here. Any people you know in the pod? I mean, they're all uh, streamers, but I don't recognize the usernames immediately. I think we played the Bearded Fool in that sealed thing. But this, this runs like a league, so we're not going to necessarily play against other people who are in the pod. That saves having to... Uh, it just, it was a big change. It was an awesome change when they added leagues to make go because you, otherwise you'd be like, well, I'm going to do a draft and you got to sit there and then you got to like wait for the other people who are playing to like finish their games and yeah. What was pack one pick one? Uh, Labyrinth Raptor. Ninja Mummy Ramses for 53 months. L2 Avon 117, a brand new sub, welcome. And Xanto69, Xanto with 50 bits, welcome. Thank you, rather. Oh, right, the simple Twitch giveaway extension. I can do that. Heightened reflexes. I think I'm being cut on my colors a little bit, but... Corpse churn. Yeah. Oh, this one works. Let's take this one. We can cycle it away if we don't need it. Yeah, reflexes seems pretty strong. Suffocating fumes, or, uh, you know, I, I kind of like lurking Deadeye. Let's take the Deadeye. Uh, no, you can't draft with friends currently. There's no, they said that um, private lobbies are, they know it's a thing that, that, it's a thing that they know people want, but it's not on their immediate, it's, it, it's, it is among the many long-term things they would like to add. Why is what in the sideboard? Nothing's, I have nothing in my sideboard right now. This is the deck. I know that there's no way, there's nowhere for me to be that's not covering something. So I figured I'd cover the cards I've already picked rather than the cards I might be able to pick. Uh, how do I do this? Whoop. See, that's not what I wanted to do. That's actually the opposite of what I wanted to do. Thanks, Chrome. Really appreciate that. Now I'm going to log back into Twitch. Um, we'll take Unlikely Aid. What is that? Oh, that's Twitch. I was like, where is that noise coming from?
Uh, I'll take a blood fell caves. Seems reasonable. And I'll take the shredded sails. Creating chances by winning the ball. Hush. And Silence Twitch. Sorry, I tried to leave incognito to install that thing and it just closed all my incognito windows. Including the Twitch that I was logged into. Hilarious. Uh, oh, well, that's fine. Alright, don't need either of these. And the cards did come in from the other side. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Who are you? Winota, joiner of forces. Uh, whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put human creatures from among them out to the battlefield, tapped at attacking against an instructional and turn them Wow. Okay. I mean, or... No, this card seems like... This is absolutely unreal. And hey, we have this crystal already. All right. Get in. We're mar doing it. Incognito, hmm? Yes, because this is my home computer and I don't want to stay logged into Loading Ready Run. I gotta set all this thing back up again because it didn't save it. Annoying. So annoying. Alright, what do we got going on here? <gasps> Genesis Ultimatum. That's No, we're not playing that. <laughs> Unexpected fangs. Ha ha! Uh, Craig? I would play any of these cards, but maybe we just want Craig. We'll just take Craig. Um, okay. Now. In a not incognito window. Oh, uh, see, now I'm like, well, if I'm already splashing white, now I guess we just take this dire tactics. I mean, rumbling rock slide is good too. Yeah, otherwise it's the leech or the rumbling rock slide, probably. Uh, yeah, we don't have that many humans. I think it's rumbling rock slide, actually. We don't have very many humans. Ooh, fire prophecy, almost for sure. Rockslide will wheel, tactics might not. I don't expect tactics to wheel, if I'm honest. Blah. Okay. We'll figure that out in a moment. All right, we're getting there. All right, what do we got here? Zagoth Mamba. Whenever this creature mutates, start creature... Whoa. Whoa. All right. Cavern Whisperer? We need cheaper creatures is the thing. I kind of like this Mamba. But we don't actually have anything with mutate right now. Did you see that? It was going to tell me what to take. It was like, this is what we're going to take. Oh yeah, Scorponok. Paraceratops. Sure. Yeah, the Whisperer has Menace. It's also a five drop. So. Uh, let's take Night Squad Commando, probably. Yes, a three drop. Guess we'll take this thing. 
the weird goat. Uh, if non combat damage we dealt to it, prevent the damage. Just take that. All right. Monata cares about non creatures. Whatever a non creature attacks. And then I get humans. Oh, I need humans. Right. That's the thing. I need humans for. I need humans and non humans for her ability. It's both. I know there are cards in front of me. Just a moment. Cool. Uh, oh, I'll take Bastion. What's this do? Weird. What a weird card. All right. I take another human here. We've got some low drop creatures already. I like unexpected fangs, but I think we just want more creatures. Ooh. Hmm. Another blitz leech or a dark bargain? Yeah, auto select you. You got this. Yeah, I'm still here. Calm down. Okay, good. Hadn't seen that work before, so that's interesting. <laughs> this bird. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Crap! Uh, I mean, we're not going to play that, but sure. The fangs. What a surprise. And throw it falls. All right. So this is 23, but hopefully we get some improvement there. Dranith Magistrate. Your opponent can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Yeah. I think we take... Ooh. To the battlefield. I do like Rise from the Grave. Shots off companion, that's true. I think it's I think it's Porky Parrot, but I do like a rise from the grave. Take it there was no FF7 today? That is correct. The day started with James playing the Ikoria early access event, and then now I am doing it. I like Rise with Lifelink a lot, yeah, but we'll do Porky Parrot here. <laughs> okay, that was a great noise. Two of them. Uh ah, target creature a fight card. A removal. Uh, yes. Pretty easy there. Rise from your grave. That's true. It's only from your thing. That is correct. Weaponize the monsters. Huh. I don't know if I like that. Um, I think. I think Cloud Piercer here. Yeah, it's two mana and sack a creature. Oh, there's more fight. Maybe we fight again. Sure. Here I might bargle. Or Evolving Wilds, actually. We're only splashing for the one creature, so I don't know. Maybe we don't need the Evolving Wilds, but... With Mamba and Parrot. Oh, yeah. That's true. 
We probably actually wanted the piercer because we've got Zagoth Mamba and the Porky Parrot. I forgot about that. Serpent is not bad. It's true. Yeah, let's take the weird big thing. Whoa, what the void beckoner. Yeah, right. I'll take that. It's another one of these. Oh, there's a Tigerilla. Yeah, I'm going to take Void Beckoner. That seems fine. Oh, Space Godzilla. Nice. Yeah, the Cat Ape would also be good. Gosh, I don't know. All right. We're doing it. We're, we're clogging up the proceedings here. Frenzied Raptor, just a 4-2, Memory Leak, Corpse Churn. Uh, uh, I'll take a Corpse Churn, but I don't think we're running it. Ah, there's a Tigerilla. I'll take that. He sounds really mad. Take another Tentative Connection. We're definitely not running multiples. There, now I've, now I've stacked them all up on somebody else. I've passed my problem down the table. Oh, we have a Lord Rackus too. We do have lots of mutate creatures. Ah, oh, I should have picked that other thing. Oh well. We gotta make a lot of cuts here. This is gonna be weird. You sure about tentative connection? I'm not. To be honest, I don't necessarily know that we're running it. I don't know. I'll just take that. Take another lurking dead eye. Oh, I get it. A joke. Sorry, I didn't pick up on that. I don't think we're running three Night Squad Commandos. Uh, uh. Hmm. Can we get all eight packs stacked on someone? I don't know. That would be very challenging, I think. The vault is at 1,500%, so I'm not going to open the vault 15 times. All right. Let's build this. And then before we play it, I think I'll take a quick break for biological reasons. And then when we come back from that break, we'll give away $50 of Card Kingdom credit. I think that's going to be the order of operations. Uh, oh, right. The notifier window also went away. Annoyingly. Meaning the last person I welcomed was Xanto69. So distinct for five months. Thanks for all the great content and cheers. Hats wear cats for 75 months. CK Knack, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. Wolverou for 14 months. Says 14 months. Woohoo. No bargle without Yargle. Uh, Star Knight 42 for 38 months. Admiral Mamo for 75 months. Never subbed while I was also live myself. J Ray 15 for 64 months. Actual human drafting. Praise Godzilla. And mostly asleep for 12 months. Welcome back. Uh, okay, so we've got to cut 10 cards. We've got 19 creatures and 14 non creatures. So let's start with non creatures. I don't think we need shredded sails. Um, I don't know if we want. Okay, what do we got removal wise? We got mutual destruction. Height and reflexes seems like a very good combat trick, but maybe we don't need it. Two go for bloods, a fire prophecy. Let's go down to one of those. Um, I, we have blood curdle. Maybe we don't need rumbling rock slide. Don't think we need tentative connection. Height and reflexes is so good. I mean, I guess leaving first strike behind. Like, I guess it is really good. 
Yeah, we maybe don't need the crystal. The crystal helps with Winota, but we have this Windscarred Crag and A planes. We're not running three islands. I don't. I think it wants us to run three islands for Lord Dracus, and we're not running. I think we're running zero islands, if I'm being completely honest. Um, we can cut. Oh, these are all non-creature spells. Goodness, we can cut corpse turn. Uh, yeah, let's cut. Unexpected fangs. Let's bring height and reflexes back in. Uh, Lurbot, I believe, does not have Ikoria in it yet. Two leeches seems like one too many. That's probably true, considering that the six drop and the eight drop both cycle, right, if they need to. So we could probably cut one leech. I don't, don't think we need Bushmeat Poacher, one and tap and sacrifice. We draw a card, but I don't think we need Bushmeat Poacher. Don't even know if we want two Lurking dead eyes either. Um, or three Night Squad Commandos. Oh, we only need to make two more cuts now. So what if we just do that? 15 creatures, 8 non-creatures. Is that correct? This is going to be cycled more than it's cast, I think. How well does Winata actually fit here? Well, uh, whenever a non-human you control attacks, so that's this, 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 these, this. Uh, you go looking for the, you look at the top six, and you put a human onto the battlefield, tap and attacking, it gains indestructible until end of turn. So that hits these two, this. So like maybe, maybe we're not as not amazing. Oh, I'm gonna cut the islands. Don't worry. Hmm. Huh. Weird. <laughs> that shadow made it look like I had massive pit stain, and I don't. Oh well. I just caught myself in the preview there, and I was like, "What? Uh, oh, what?" Weird lighting, I guess. Uh, if we cut one out, we're only two colors. Yeah, which is probably what we do. I think we do that, yeah. One out, uh, crystal out. So then we're probably going to bring back in... No, we don't need that either. Um, I kind of like... Two cards back in. Rumbling rock slide? We could. Yeah. Connection. We could also bring in a shredded sails. Because <laughs> it cycles if you don't need it. We could do connection. We don't have a sack outlet, but. Uh, Frank Shipink, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. And Super Fluffy Kitty for 14 months says, sha sha sha. You do have a sack creature? Do I? It's in the it's currently in the board. I don't think I have a main deck sack outlet. I do not. Oh gosh, I'm only supposed to be going for another little bit. Uh, and I do have to take that break for bathroom reasons. So I'm gonna do that. Um I know I'm gonna bring another blitz leech. Let's do that. And I'm gonna take these islands out. That looks good. And we'll say that card. Who's taking over after you? Uh, no one's, that's gonna be, after I'm done, that's gonna be it for magic for today. But tonight on uh, AFK, on the channel here, we have, I need to remind myself of who we have on AFK this week. Um, Ian, Matt Griffiths, Corey, and James are playing totable, reli totally reliable delivery service. So that'll be fun. All right, going to take a quick break. Don't go away. 
Uh, when I come back, we'll be doing the Card Kingdom giveaway for $50 in store credit, and we'll play this deck. So, uh, yeah, sit tight. Oops. <laughs> I am flying around the room. All right. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you, motorcycle. Got to make sure everyone knows where they are at all times. Uh, hi. I'm Graham, and we're still playing Magic the Gathering. Uh, Shoutouts to Serpens77 for 21 months, who says, Ikoria is doing an excite. Yeah, it is. Inside Pigeon for 25 months. Hopefully you get out soon. And Wolfies43, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. Um, all right, let's try this. So I'm going to do... You know what? I'm going to do the same thing that James did. So if you type... Oh, there we go. It posted in chat. Look at that. Okay. Say Card Kingdom in chat. And uh, you will uh, be entered to win a uh, $50 uh, store credit to CardKingdom.com. Our good friends who are not sponsoring this stream, but did very kindly give us $100 to give away. And who do sponsor other things that we do. Just so everyone's clear. We have a great relationship with Card Kingdom. And I'm going to eat this trail mix. And then when I'm done eating this bite of trail mix, I will draw a winner. Now, Graham, why didn't you eat the trail mix during break? Ah, I did. But I wanted more. All right, five more seconds. Multiple entries doesn't help you, by the way. And four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. Okay, I've stopped. All right, and let's roll. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Da -da 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 -da. The winner is Evocron13. Oh, wow, it says it in chat. Look at that. I didn't realize it said it in chat. That's so cool. Well, congrats, Evocron. Uh, whisper. Send me a whisper. Send a whisper to Loading Ready Run, and I will figure out how to get you that. Because I don't know how offhand. Congratulations. All right, let's play. Because really, I've only got like 20 more minutes. <laughs> I didn't realize how long that draft took. Human drafting, not as fast as... Um, uh, bot drafting, for obvious reasons. So you do only ever play against other people who have human drafted, just not necessarily in your pod. So there's that. Also, this is an easy mulligan. Uh, I will keep this. And I'm going to put back... The combat trick. Oh, that cycles? Huh. I might cycle that, actually. I got two more removals in hand. This hand sucks. I mean, the other hand was worse. Oh, I have the filter on? Oh, whoops. Then I will whisper... Oh, hang on. Uh, whisper to Evocron. What? I clicked whisper. Where did it go? Whisper. Whisper? Uh, whisper. Got it. 
Hi, okay, I've started the conversation. We can deal with that later. Uh, all right, we'll play this 2-3. For no value. I hope we get to play one more game, but I might have to be like, well, it's 4.30, goodbye, because I forgot there's something happening at 4.30. Okay. I like the whip noise it plays. Uh, yes, crossing the streams, which I called AFK because it's in the AFK time slot. But I did like someone in chat suggested it stands for at freaking keyboards. Um, what is this? Return to her creature. Wow. Necropenther. What's at 430? A, th a different thing I have to do not on stream. <laughs> Put mutual destruction back on in my library and draw a different card. Yes, AFK attending from home. Yes. Nice. Terrific. Uh, menace. Anyway. Um. But yes, crossing the streams tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific time is totally reliable delivery service. Oh, next fire. I'm so sorry. Vulpaki. Okay. Well, so it's a 3 4 with flying and vigilance, and whenever it mutates, put a plus and plus one counter on it, and when it enters the battlefield, you may reveal it. Okay. Do I just kill it? Do I just kill it? And hit for seven? Yeah? Yeah, I do. Also, you have menace now. Congratulations. Now we've got two creatures with menace. So assuming that they only play one creature this turn. Also, we have this thing, which is pretty spicy. That's a big thing. All right. This thing also has double strike now, thanks to the spells in my yard, so that's cool. Sorry, what? During each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell, convert a mana cost two or less from your graveyard. Which they do not have, thankfully. Surely they are deceased in this moment. Because they have to double block the Tigerilla. Well, let's find out. Oh yeah, Luris has lifelink. But Spell Eater has double strike. Oh, I don't think that works. Because Scorpion's going to drain for two. 
This this is still lethal blocks. This is still lethal blocks. Yeah. Neat. All right, we got one more. Uh, opponent did gain life. Opponent went. Opponent ended up at one, and then the serrated scorpion trigger killed them. Oh, with the charm thing? Oh, yeah, if they put that on the other... Yeah, that's fair. This is also not a good hand. Oh, it's Jamie Topples. I'm gonna mold in this hand. Okay. I'm not going to five. At least this way I can fire Prophecy away one of these lands I don't need. I can't believe it's basically the same hand. Gonna cycle that. What limited format is this? This is Ikoria. It comes out on Arena tomorrow. Oh, sealed. Sorry, it's sealed. A little nipper. Look at that guy. Death touch, huh? This is draft. Sorry, I played sealed earlier. This is draft. This was draft. It was a human draft with human people. Um, do I? Do I just kill that? I think I just kill that. Gee, you okay, bud? I'm just, I'm not great. No, I'm, uh, no, I'm fine. I'm just obviously kind of tired. Sure. Not you. Who's this Gilliman you're playing against? This is Jamie Topples, who was at one of our PPRs. Oh, can't mutate because it's a human. Hmm. Yes, I should have cycled go for blood during my turn to hit my land drop. That was silly. Egg, 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 egg. What's up, Graham? Here from Jamie's chat to say hi. Well, hello, Toby McSchmoby. Please say hello back. Why don't we just fight it? Just fight it. Egg scares me. Not by itself, but with this mana. I thought the other crystal made the same sound. This is important. We're doing science. There. Okay, now. Uh, first, let's get the Tigerilla down. With Menace. No attacks. Next turn, we can mutually destruct Sacking Night Squad Commando, and we can also mutate onto the uh, Tigerilla. Ooh. Okay, well that sort of ruined our whole entire plan. Should have swung to test aid. Oh, right, we should have swung. Oh well, they make the same sound. They're just in, they're just uh, balanced to pretty far left and right ears. So, 
Ooh, that's fun, actually. Let's do that. Zimamba. I'm gonna slam first. Unfortunately, we don't get to, like, really pop off here with, like, returning something to kill the now smaller Ivy Elemental, but... Okay. Wow. Kogla! Kogla. Okay. Why you ting so much? Because it sounds cool. I'm trying to make music. I live yet another turn. Uh, no, it's not. Well, not not pod draft. Uh, it was drafting with humans, but you don't necessarily play within your pod. It's like a league, but you do draft with humans. Well, that is gonna that's gonna do it for Magic: The Gathering today. That first that first deck was our first game was was super fun. Um, all right, hey, thanks everybody for joining us. This has been an amazing day of Magic here. For James in the morning, myself in the afternoon. Thank you all for joining us. It's been a, a real a real good time. Uh, shout out to the last couple of subs there. DJ Alternative for thirteen months. Um, Tell that it sculpt her well, those passions red, which yet survived, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them, and the heart that fed. I don't know what that's from, but it's very nice. Upstage DMC for 33 months, Mel slash Vin for 12 months, says I appreciate the hell out of you, LRR, and Big Core 917 for 37 months. Thank you, everybody. Um, come back in half an hour for Crossing the Streams with Ian, James, Corey, and Matt playing totally reliable delivery service. You're going to want to check that out. And then tomorrow on the channel, we have Checkpoint. More Magic the Gathering as Ikoria sees its full release on on Arena. And tomorrow night, I believe, is Tinker Taylor, Solder Fry, where Ian's going to do something. Uh, we'll all get to find out what that is together. All right. Cheers, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.